Hey guys, RK3 Designs. I'm Rhonda Draculis, Tuesday night, and we are live. Welcome. I hope everyone had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Your bellies are full, and you're nice and relaxed, and you're having a good week so far. Um, I will tell you that uh, we've had a very exciting Thanksgiving week because we had our Black Friday promo, and Leslie was on vacation. So, just so everyone knows. So you're going to throw under the bus as well. I you're am. Saying? I'm wow. drinking wine tonight, guys. Wow. Straight you're up. you're whining. I am whining <laughs> because Leslie has been gone since Tuesday. Mm. And it has been Kenny and I uh, shipping out all the products for Black Friday. And let me tell you, it's been a hell of a ride. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm here. We're going to try to do this tonight and see what we can come up with. All right. You're going to so try it? We're going to try it. We're going to try it. I mean, you know, hey, you know me. I haven't even done this. So we're just going to throw some colors. What do you mean you haven't done this? I haven't done these colors. So oh. this particular way. Oh. Um, so it's a particular way that you're going to do this? It's a particular way. Mm. All right, guys. Say hello to our moderators. I'm not sure if Eric is here. I know she's traveling. She went to see her mom in Alabama. But I do know that Clara is here, and I know our one-arm bandit champion pickleball player is yeah, on, he's on, and he is pecking away one finger, one letter at a time, because he's just one arm. So everyone say hi to Keith McGinnis. Uh, we love you, Keith. We just have to give you a hard time. All right. Anyway, so tonight what we're going to do... Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, I almost forgot the man of the hour, Mr. Kenny Draculis. What's up, guys? All right. Glad I could be here. I'm behind the camera tonight, so you're not going to get to see my lovely face. All right. Luke's taking the night off. He's actually working on some uh, content for us, and so he's, he's at the house. I'm not sure if he's on tonight or not. But anyway, we're going to have a good time. So tonight, the colors that I'm using... And I really haven't worked with this at all. Uh, I'm just going to be kind of um, winging it, you know, because I'm really good at winging it. A wing and um, a prayer? Yeah, a wing and a prayer. I have a customer that has requested um, some colors, and these are just some of the colors that she kind of likes. So I thought, well, might as well play with them tonight, see what we think. And I'm also going to be bringing out two products, uh, two colors, of a product that I am now uh, selling on our website. It's the new Fusion Mica spray Sprays. They're not a spray paint. So I want to really get you guys to understand this is not a spray paint. What this is, is mica powders that are suspended in 91% um, isopropyl alcohol and then there's a separator in there and all that other chemical-y stuff. But it's really cool because you can shake these up and apply them to the surface and you get some really, really cool um, kind of effects. Are we having a problem with our mic? No, okay. All right, so I've been told the key to this really is to shake them very, very well. Very. Very well. Because very. what happens is these mica powders, uh, if you've ever put mica powder in alcohol in your spritz bottle, you know how all the alcohol all the mica powder sink. Kind of the same thing happens here. So you have to shake it until that little marble is loose and then you'll be good to rock and roll. Alrighty, so what we've done so far, we have prepped our surface with the black nice. undercoating. And this is just a piece of MDF. Uh, actually, it's a countertop piece that our students uh, made in class. This is one of the pieces they learn how to fabricate. Um, I mixed up my epoxy. What you saw, I just tumped over my bucket. This was what's left in the bucket. It's just clear. And I'm just going to give myself a really quick skim coat. And why are you doing that? Well, honey, why I'm doing this is I am greasing the pan. Basically... Greasing the pan? You don't know what you're doing. Well, yeah, because I don't cook, so... I'm told this is what you do when you bake something, oh. you grease it. But what I'm doing is, okay, I'm going to just say it. I'm lubing up the surface. That's what I'm doing. Mm. So what it's going to do is, everyone knows my saying, 
epoxy likes to go where epoxy's already been, right? So by spreading out a very, very thin coat of epoxy, which is, you'll hear it called several things. You'll hear it called skim coat. You'll hear it called a um, grease coat, a lube coat, all the things. But basically all it is is a very, very thin layer of epoxy that just helps the epoxy that we're fixing to put on the surface slide and move around a lot easier. Now, if something happens and you forget to do this, it's not detrimental. You can still go on with your pour. This is just gonna really help everything kind of move. Now, I'm short, so here we go. I can't reach everything. All right, then I like to go ahead and torch it. It just kind of loosens it up, makes it a little more fluid. That way when I put my epoxy down, it's gonna move a little easier. Okay, so what we're gonna start with, gotta have me a little sip sip, hold on. Is, ooh, that's good. We're gonna start with our brown opaque dye. I know you guys have heard me say this a million times, but the Alumalite uh, brown opaque dye is one of my very, very, very favorite very. browns. Yes, because you can tint it, even though it says it's opaque, you can tint it to whatever opacity that you want. So I have it really, really dark on this one. This is like truck stop coffee. Got that visual? And then I made, let's say, <laughs> this is Denny's coffee. <laughs> so, How about some tea? Our tea, that's what we have. So we're gonna put that out first. So that's gonna be kind of our main, I guess what you would call our background, our main color on our background. Just kind of get that out. And the reason we're using two different opacities is, opacities, I've been corrected on that. By opacities? Luke. It's opacity. I say opacity, you know, that's just a rondism. Tomato, tomato. Tomato, huh? tomato. Um, the reason we use two different shades is it builds depth. It really helps us to create some depth. Okay, so that was the brown dye. Now we're going to come in with the black alumalite dye. Same thing. We're just randomly <coughs> putting it over. Random, huh? So random. Put that down. All right. I think I may save just a tiny bit of that in a cup because you never know when you may need a, just a little bit more to play with. All right, now I'm gonna come in with a little bit of, this is a new color, a new product, we're, we're, I guess it's not really a new product, it's a new product line. It's uh, the same mica powders, it's Leslie's Creation mica powders, and this is dark bronze, and it is identical to the dark bronze that we carry of polycolor, which is the stone coat countertop color. It's the same exact, exact thing. All right, so I don't want it to be all over. I just want it to be kind of in a few spots. So I'm just gonna kind of lay it out a little bit. And again, I'm going to go ahead and save a little bit of that in my cup. All right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and take our roller. I just have a regular roller, all right? Now, you could use your hand on this if you would like. You could come in here and you can meld it using your hand. That's 100% perfect, okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and take our roller and use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and roller. kinda get a little color on it a little bit. And we're just gonna kinda take it down and get it to kinda cover 
the surface, kind of push it that around, get it to cover. Now as we move, if you guys have been watching Mitch, he's been using this quite a bit, this technique, just taking that roller and just kind of rolling it out, spreading it out. I love kind of how you twist. Now I'm not worried about getting every single inch of this because I'm going to come back in. I still have my copper. I'm going to roll this over my edge. Now my epoxy has been sitting in the cup a little bit too long, starting to kind of set up on me a little bit because I mixed it a little bit early. And also this is a really good pro tip guys. Now that it's getting cooler, a lot of you are going to be having to put your epoxy in front of maybe a small space heater to kind of get it to warm up. Now remember, you want your space that you're pouring to be at least 70 degrees. And that's not just during the pour, guys. That's during the pour and the first 24 hours after you pour. Because if not, you're gonna get what we call a soft cure. So make sure that your temperature is correct. But by putting that epoxy in front of a heater, you are gonna speed up how fast that epoxy is going to start curing. So by heating it up, you're already kind of having it warm, so when you mix A and B together, that exothermic reaction is going to happen a little faster. All right, so now we're gonna come in with a copper. Mm, and I'm kind of pour that out. And I know that the picture that she sent me kind of had this little vein kind of running down the middle and kind of branched off. That was kind of her inspiration photo. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of come in here very lightly. Now this roller doesn't really roll, okay? I'm just kind of using it. Why? Well, because it's stuck. But oh. you don't want it to because you're just kind of using it to twist and turn and kind of move that product around. So my point being a while ago when I started telling you when I got squirreled about heating up your epoxy is that mine has already started to kind of start thickening up. So it's quite a bit thicker than normal, but that's okay. I don't mind at all. Oh, I almost poured that wine thinking that was leftover epoxy. So I am going to come a little bit, get in this area here where I have a little bit left. Let's see. I have a little black here left. Do you have any on the front? Well, it's because I can't reach it. You know you can walk around the table, Well, I right? know, but we all know this is live. Now, if this were an actual countertop, guys, I would most definitely be addressing my edges, but it takes you too long. You should do it all the time. It's I good practice. Know. I should. I should. I should do a lot of things. All right, I'm just going to take this and rub this with my hand. All right. Okay, so the thing about using your roller is it really causes some cool, cool designs. But you have to let that design kind of do its thing. So I'm going to come in here. Come in here and torch it. All right, so I want Kenny to come in here and kind of show you guys. Without me doing anything, just kind of using that roller, look at the, the design and what's happening right now without me really doing anything. I mean, this is 
absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if the camera can even pick it up, but it's just got so much going on, so many beautiful designs. And I really want you guys to start letting your epoxy do its thing. Don't rush it. Let it meld, let it develop. Don't rush the design because just this little bit of time that we're sitting here, you can see just like right here, look at all this right here, what it did. Just, just by me kind of swiping that copper over that brown and that black. So, so pretty. And now this copper, I think I forgot to tell you which one it was. This copper is also Leslie's creation and it's called Penny. And it is exactly equivalent to the copper that uh, Stone Coat Countertop, the Polycolor. And I sell both of those on my site. So it's just another label, I guess you would basically call it. So, so pretty. All right. Like I said, my epoxy starting to kind of thicken just a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about it. Now, honestly, guys, <laughs> this could be a finish all on its own. We could literally walk away from this and be completely fine because this is really, really pretty. I could really see this on an island. Um, maybe you wouldn't want that copper vein running through all of your countertops because it would get a little busy, but maybe do the brown and the black and the dark bronze on your outer countertops, and then your island would be this really pretty accent piece. But we're gonna go a little farther. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna come in with a little bit of our fusion spray. Now I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I have not played with this a ton. I haven't had time. What I have done, it's been a lot of fun, but there are so many really cool things that you can do with this. Um, what I'm gonna do in the corner over here is I'm gonna lightly fog this on the surface. I'm not gonna put a, a lot. I just wanna get a very, very thin film of it and this is the brass bell. All right, so I'm just gonna kinda come over here and put a very fine mist over the top. Now, I, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. You can't even see it. You can if you stand back. So that's what's really cool about this is when you're looking directly down into it, you're not really gonna see a whole lot, but when you step back, it's got a beautiful sheen of that brass and it's so pretty. Let me see if I can kind of wake it up a little bit. I'm gonna come in here and kind of hit it and see if I can kind of wake that up just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is what I was going for. I just wanted that little bit of that brass to just basically kind of sit on top. That's, that's what I'm going for because I want that to kind of catch your eye if you're across the room. There it is. You see it? Mm -hmm. All right, you can kind of just... So that's one way that you can do it. Can you see that right there? Yeah, I'm just pointing to okay. it. You can kind of, and then you can also kind of take your stick and you can make some veins. And even though those, I don't have any color at all on my, on my stick, but I'm running some designs and it's pulling that brass that's on top and it's kind of pushing it down into the finish. No, it really doesn't smell. No, there's no smell. Now, they have reformulated it. Because when they first came out with this, that's one reason that I didn't carry it, 
was because the smell was atrocious. I'll be honest with you. It, it was really bad. But they reformulated it, and the smell is not, I mean, I, I don't smell it at all right now. Yeah. And, and it's really, really neat. Atrocious, huh? Atrocious. Did you hear that $3 word? That was a three dollar word. I don't know if it was. <laughs> it was bad. It smelled like pure, pure it acetone. Smelled like spray paint. No acetone. Okay, so there's no acetone now. They have replaced the acetone with the uh, isopropyl. Okay, so here's what you need to remember, guys. If your can sits, if your can sits too long. You need to shake it again, just like when you have the mica powders in the spray bottles. It's the same thing. If this sits for very long, those mica powder particles are going to sink down. So you need to re-agitate it and then re-spray it and make sure that's nice and concentrated. All right, so one thing that this picture that um, the lady sent me. Too bad you don't me, have it. I know, too bad it's on my phone. <laughs> what it was, was it had almost like a black coating over the copper. So my idea is if, and I haven't done this yet, so bear with me, I don't know if this is gonna work. My idea is if I go over the top with my fusion spray, and then I, I drag a stick through it, it's gonna bring that copper back up ever so often. So we're gonna see. We're going to see. I don't know. We're going to see how it works. All right, so I need to shake it. I haven't really shaken this one a whole lot, so we're going to see. You get some good bicep workout doing this. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to come over and just spray that black over the top. Now, I'm not spraying it really super slow, okay? Now you can get this really thick and get a really cool look, but I, I still wanna be able to see my copper. All right, I'm gonna let that sit just a little bit. I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna let that alcohol start to dissipate. That's another big old word, you hear me say that? Wow. I know, it's getting scary. Let it kind of start melding and having fun with the copper. Yeah, you can see where the where you sprayed it and yeah. it's doing the little Yeah. its own fun little thing. It almost gave it like a wood effect. Look at that right there. Yeah, isn't that cool? That lot wants like a little mm -hmm, knot. Like a knot. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to come in with my... You know what would probably be good, too, is a magic trowel. Yeah, it probably would. The only reason I'm not going to use a magic trowel is I don't want it that big of a pattern. I want to come in here with a Bondo spreader. All right, now I'm going to come in, and I'm just going to kind of drag my Bondo spreader through. And as I drag, I'm kind of twisting it a little bit. And I'm making sure that I'm not going over every single inch. I want some of that spray to still be working in here. But I'm dragging, I'm twisting. Oh my gosh. Looks pretty cool. This is way, way cool. Y'all, this, this stuff is neat. I don't know if Jeremy's on here or yeah. not. Is hey Jeremy, this is a lot of fun. Look at this. Mm-hmm. So as you kind of drag that through that copper, I'm bringing that copper back up to the surface, but I'm also letting that alcohol kind of do its thing. Wow, that's way cool. Now, what you want to be very mindful of, guys, this has alcohol in it. So don't go grab your torch. Right away. Right away and start trying to pop bubbles. Okay, let those bubbles try to maybe pop on their own. Make sure before you torch this, and you probably shouldn't even need to torch it 
The only reason I'm getting bubbles is because I'm dragging my um, Bondo spreader through it and I'm creating the bubbles. Wow, that is way cool. I love that. I kind of like it too, just... Just without even, yeah. yeah. without even touching so it. So if I didn't even touch it, look at that. Look how cool that is. Right. So let me know, guys, in the comments. Do you like it better where I've touched it, or do you like it better just by itself? Now, I tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to do the same thing just on the brown where I sprayed that brass. Can you see that? Yeah. That's where I just sprayed the brass on there, and that's just that solid brown and black dye under there. There's, I think there's a little bit of the dark bronze powder, but not a whole lot. But look at that. Because that mica powder is sitting on the surface. Yeah, you can see it. I'm going to hit it real quick. There we go. So you're not going to want to hit it really uh, with a lot of heat because you'll cause a lot of your mica powders that we mixed up in the copper to sink, and we don't want that to happen. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drag this one because oh, I just... You can't even stand it. I huh? can't stand it. I just want to drag. I'm not going to drag it as much. How about that? I'll just drag it a little bit. Wow, this is so pretty. Now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to take this copper and I'm going to kind of go out and bring it into like almost like its own little vein and then come back into it. What does it do when you put alcohol on top of that? I don't know. We're going to find out. Did somebody ask that or are you yeah. asking that? Somebody asked that? Because yeah. <laughs> I was going to see that myself. All right, so we're just going to kind of drag it. All right, I think I'm going to do, because see where I went rogue right here? And I brought that copper out? Wow, that's pretty. All right, so let me hit it with just a little bit of alcohol. All right, so I'm just going to come in with plain isopropyl alcohol. And I'm not going to hit it with super fine, fine mist. Um, just a little bit. Ooh. Yes, it will. So whoever asked, will it, it fracture, Keith? Keith he yes. just says, what, it will, what will it do? Yeah. And now you could really see. Oh, wow. Woohoo! Now, guys, I am barely, barely putting any. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Y'all, Wow. this stuff is a game changer. Let me tell you. And a little bit, a little bit goes a super long way. These cans retail for $32, but let me tell you, they're going to last you a long time. Well, it depends how much you use it. Well, that's true, but I'm telling you, you barely have to use any. Yeah. Man, that's so pretty. So, so pretty. I think I'm going to drag some. Let's do this, Kenny. I'm going to take some um, leftover. I have a little bit of the brown opaque dye, and I'm going to run it through the middle. And this is just the dark brown that I tinted. And now I'm going to come in and, and, oh my gosh, look how it makes it almost look translucent. It spreads... It spreads that material out. Look at that. Look how deep that looks. Woohoo! That's pretty. That is pretty. Y'all like that? Let me know. I tell you what would be really pretty too is if we, if we had added a little bit of maybe a gold dust 
uh, or maybe a copper dust. We have a copper. Ooh, that, yeah. We have a copper dust that uh, is by that copper glitter. Yeah, that copper. It's uh, by Color Passion, and no, but so does Stone Coat. They have that. They have that copper. Yeah, I don't know if they is have it? that anymore. Yeah, I'd have to see. But if you had some of that diamond or any kind of dust or even a fine glitter yeah. in there, it would literally look like you had little pockets of mica along that vein. I'm going to hit it really quickly. So, guys, you'll notice in most of... The finishes that green. I do, some yeah. green, mm -hmm. I bet green would be pretty. In most of the finishes that I do, I don't use a lot of heat. Heat and heat guns really will cause you to kind of lose your design. Um, I see a lot of people post pictures and ask questions about how their design was really, really pretty and then they were trying to move it with a heat gun and that heat, what it does is it will move your epoxy and make it look really pretty for a little bit. But what happens is when we add all that heat, it causes that epoxy to get really fluid and really thin. So our design kind of dissipates and, and all of our mica powders kind of sink. So it looks really pretty for a little bit and then you lose a lot of that design. So I, I honestly, I very seldom use a heat gun, and when I use a torch, it's for very, very quick and just to pop bubbles. So, um, man, this this is incredible. I am, and I'm so much in love with this. This is amazing. So I think I have, I think I finished, uh, figured out what I'm going to do on her countertops. Um, so let me know. Do you like this? And what would you do different? Maybe what color would you add to this? Uh, let me know because I'm, I'm up for any suggestions. She's got a very um, neutral color palette to work with. Uh, her walls are just kind of an off, kind of off-white color and uh, kind of a light cabinet. So these dark colors will look really, really well. Okay, so a couple announcements. Um, I do want to let everyone know that we are extending our um, promo for our classes for 2024. Uh, our January class is actually almost filled up. I think we only have eight spots left. And our March class, I think we only have 10 spots left. So what we're doing, we're giving 20% off the prices. So uh, you can come buy your ticket for one person and already, even without the promo, the second person is going to come at uh, a lesser price. Now with our 20% promo, not only at, is the first person going to get a discount, the second person is going to get a discount as well. So it makes these classes very, very affordable. And um, guys, if you've never been to one of our classes, we have so much fun. Uh, Mike Quist is at our class, Keith McGinnis, I said Mike Quist. I meant Mitch Quist. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Mitch Quist is at all of our classes. And uh, Keith McGinnis is here. And we also fly people in uh, all the time. Uh, maybe former students that are, are really doing well in this industry. And uh, we just want to give you guys the biggest bang for your buck. So check out that. It's on our website. And let me know. So. Babe, do you have any announcements that you want to have? Do we have any questions? Uh, one guy asked if you could put a straw, Brandon. If you could put like a spray, um, like for the oh, WD-40. Oh, like a WD-40. Yeah, like a straw. You know what? I don't, I don't even know, if you know can. that. Uh, I don't, I don't know. know if, if that's going to be still on there. Yeah, I don't. Brandon, I don't know. Um. But you know what? That's what? what I was looking at. I can bet, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to try that <laughs> when we're not on camera. So that's a great idea because that way you'd be able to get a really tiny, tiny, um, that, you know what? I'm, I'm going to work on that. that. That's a great idea. 
Um, I just don't know what those caps. Yeah, are. we may have to have a different kind of cap, but I may steal one off of the WD-40 cap. If it's maybe? the same female and male. Yeah, we'll try that. Hmm. Who knows? So, do you guys want to see me now that we've done this? Okay, I'm gonna let Kenny give you guys a um, a really quick flyover, and then we're gonna start playing with some other colors so you guys can see them. So he says, I'm not sure if the straw would work. So they are working on different tips for okay, the cool. spray. So that's okay, awesome. Cool. All right. That would be really cool because then you could get really fine tuned to that. But look at just since we've walked away, how this is just kind of morphing into such a pretty design. And we only use three colors, guys. Black, brown, and brown. No, yeah, copper and dark turquoise. I mean, dark uh, bronze. So yeah, we use four, I guess. Have you applied it to a stick? And then drug it? Yeah. No, but we can. I'll do it with one of these colors. So it comes in six colors so far. Uh, Brandon, uh, I mean, not Brandon, uh, Jeremy, I have my hands full. So if you can, you can tell everybody what colors those come in, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I got my hands full So what full are you shaking. there? So we got these two right here, mink gray, smoke white. Blue. Majestic blue and crown gold. This is the one I'm fixing to use. So. You gonna put the blue in it? Yeah, I will too. I wanna put the gold first though. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! So somebody wants me to put it on a stick. Let's see. Okay, Ooh. so can y'all see me? Yeah. All right, so I have it on a stick. It's kind of hard to, to get it to stay on a stick. It was Claire. Oh, Claire. So I, it's kind of hard to get me to get it to stay on the stick. It's kind of cool though. Yeah, without dripping it, you'd have to be really careful. But yes, you can, you can definitely do that. Holy cow. Claire, I'm gonna, I can't wait till you come down. I'm going to give you some of these because I can only imagine what your creative self can do with these. Yeah. Can you imagine? Okay, so I'm going to shake it up a little bit more. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut and play with this over and spread. Look at, look at that. See how you can kind of... So my epoxy is starting to get pretty thick, guys. I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to play with it. Um, let's see. I'm going to just, I'm just going to, okay. So y'all don't pay attention to the background. I'm just going to run a line across here. Wow. And then I'm going to take it. Maybe just run. Yeah, so I'm pretty thick right now. But look how that kind of, how you can kind of pull that. Ooh wee. So Keith, I sent you some of these. Have you got a chance to play with them? I know you've been busy working one arm, in, one armed, one arm. I guess, I don't even know how to say that. Trying to get some of your jobs out, but I'm kind of curious. Wow, look at that, y'all. Look at that, woohoo! Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I wanna see the blue. You wanna see the blue? Okay, let's get the blue. I haven't shaken it, really. Well, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious if this blue's gonna show up on that black. He hasn't, but in the next few days. You gotta shake it. Yeah, I haven't shaken the blue yet. Sorry, y'all gotta hear it shaking in the microphone. Yeah, put the blue over here. So, yeah, so I'm not, 
a fan of the gold next to the copper, but I'm a fan with the gold next to the brown. Yeah, pretty. but you can't go. No, up I know. That. No, I'm just trying to say, I, I the gold is really pretty. I'm really happy that it's not a real vivid, vivid in your face gold. I like that it's kind of a softer gold. I should have haven't had all these shaken. I have these came right out of the box, so they haven't been shaken at all. Oh, that's looking better. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's do a blue right here. You got it? Ooh wee. Now that is a bright blue, y'all. Wow. Go all the way down. Now look, I you just put look, I put it real light there. Just barely light, and then I put it a little heavier. Barely light. Barely light. Just put it. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna. Ooh we. This blue is amazing. Wow. Wow. Even next to the copper. It, it looks yes. Really cool. Oh my gosh. Look. Look at this, y'all. And and this epoxy is really starting to set up, but I almost like it when it's set up this much because it's kind of keeping that spray in one spot. Now this is a bright blue, y'all. Whoa. Golly, that's so pretty. Look at that. Look at this right here. Look at it over the copper. Look at this 3D right here. Look at that. God. What if you just drag it now? Like this, just. Drag it, what do you mean? Just flat. Just flat again? Yeah, oh. just see what that does. Okay. All right, let's do it someplace else because I'm really liking this. I don't want to mess this up. I think up. we need to fracture it too. Okay. So look, I'm just taking the end just like I would a popsicle stick. Look, and I'm just dragging that and creating. Now, right. one reason I'm getting these cool effects, guys, is because this epoxy is already 45, almost almost yeah. an hour, hour old, because I had it in the bucket about 15 minutes before we started. So this epoxy is about an hour old, and that's why I'm getting this really cool design. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it right here next to the gold. Is that what you wanna do, and just spray it? Sure, just do it. Okay, so we're just gonna spray a line of it. Put, fill it up. Oh, fill the whole thing? Right there. Okay, now we may not get a whole lot of reaction because, I'm gonna come around to the front. All right, so it's, I kinda like to let it off gas or evaporate, I guess you would call it, first. So I'm just gonna take my Bondo spreader and I'm just gonna drag it. So I'm thinking the Bondo spreader may be moving too much yeah. of it. Yeah, it, it moves it too much. But you know what? I'm going to try something else. Watch this. How do they say here? Hold my beer and watch this. But look at that. All right, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put some more, and then I'm going to take this roller. And I'm going to take the roller. And I'm gonna twist it, twist and shout. I'm doing this left-handed too. Why? I don't know, because I grabbed it with my left hand. Wow, man, can you see a beach scene like that? Woohoo! Look at that, isn't that pretty? Now, I'm gonna hit it with some alcohol and see what happens. Here. All right, so now, we're gonna go ahead and fracture it with some alcohol. Ready? Hit this one. That's finer spray. Yeah. Man. Look at those little tiny little micro cells. Um, I'm looking in the camera. You guys aren't even seeing half of what this really looks like. The camera just cannot capture the depth. 
You like, can see the depth. I don't know. Look at this right here. This all, but it's so much bluer. If anybody has these blue gloves like I do, that blue in there is darker than these blue gloves. It is. Yeah, it looks so super light. Maybe there's too much light on it. Oh my gosh, this is so, I've had so much fun. I was in a really stressed mood before this live, and now I'm in a good mood. <laughs> so I'm loving this. So y'all want to see some more colors? Let me know. Do we still well, have people? Well. Are people still on? Yeah. All right, let's see. We have Snow White and the Seven Drawers over here. Let's see, we have Mink Gray. But here, Kenny, help me shake these. So these guys have just now come out of the box. So they've not been shaken at all. So it is really important that you shake these for the first time. You really shake them good because a lot of that mica powder has settled in shipment. Here, show them what it looks like if, there's not, if they're not shaking up real well. Well, it Here. looks like spray paint that it's not. Well, it looks like, oh. Yeah, so this is the mink gray. Oh, well, that's pretty much, that's pretty. So, all right, so we're going to come in here with the gray. Let's put the gray next to the blue. Okay. I bet that's going to be pretty. All right, so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to put some gray here, here, and there. All right, where's my little Bondo spreader? All right, so now I'm going to come play with it a little bit. Now, guys, you can definitely overdo this. Just like when you're spritzing alcohol, if you put too much of this on the surface, you're, it's going to compromise the integrity of that epoxy because you're super saturating it with so much alcohol. So don't, don't go so crazy that you just have it puddles. Wow, look at the gray next to the blue. It does look good. I'm going to laugh if my customer comes in here and sees this and wants all these colors. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come in here and slide that across. Wow, that's pretty. You can kind of come out here and kind of take it and kind of make your own little veins coming out here. Wow. I like that blue next to that silver. Do the white? Yeah, you ready? Yeah, where do you want it? Wherever you want it, babe. Oh, you're giving me a lot to play with. Okay. So once you spray it, let it let it kind of dissipate just a little bit before you go in there and start manip. Now that's the first time I've smelt it and it's not bad at all. No. Not it. I mean it just smells like alcohol. All right. So if you come in there immediately after, when you still have a lot of alcohol on top, you're gonna get a little bit different look. Again, my, <laughs> my epoxy is re, wow, look. Yeah. Y'all look at that. It straight up looks like it's 3D. Can y'all tell, uh, look, it looks like it's like it's 3D. Don't laugh at me. I'm excited. It's what? It's 3D. Like, it looks like you could just reach out and touch someone. You can touch it, you <laughs> goofball. What are you talking about, 3D? I'm just excited. Just don't judge me. I get... Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, this is... This is so much fun. I'm having so much fun. This stuff is legit. I like the blue and the white. I do too. Mm. Look, I'm going to watch this. Watch. Okay, so see all these drips that we have? I'm going to come in there and grab them. And then I'm going to come in here and pour them out. Do 
You're making a mess. I am. Look, you're spilling it on the. On oh the floor. my goodness! Don't rain on my parade. Well, well, just watch what you're doing. I am watching it. Look, right. Up, look, look, y'all. I drug that vein through the mica spray, and look. Oh my gosh! Look at that right there. Here's some copper that I picked up, and I'm pulling it out. Now, I'm going to have a really hard time walking away, Rhonda, on this stuff. It almost like it extends your open time when you spray it on the surface. So you can't put it on a dry surface? No, you cannot put it on a dry surface because basically all you would do, all you would have would be mica powder on a dry surface once the alcohol evaporates. So this has to be put in to epoxy. Remember that vein that we did earlier with just the brown opaque dye? Look at it, how it's kind of sunk down and it looks like it's just carved down into that. Wow, I am broke a sweat. I'm so excited. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's some pretty cool stuff. That is some pretty cool stuff, y'all. I am super excited. So it's called Fusion Spray. It's on my website, and it's under the uh, spray paint section of my site. And even though Black Friday is over, we're still offering free shipping on all orders over $100. And we still do same day shipping as long as you guys order before noon central time. Look at this. I, I'm just blown away how that blue looks over that copper. Yeah. All right. So I expect all my cans to be sold out by Friday. <laughs> so, so we can buy more. I'm telling you guys, if you aren't as excited about this as I am, you need to check your pulse because this is some cool stuff. It, I have to tell you, and I don't know if Jeremy's still on here or not, but when I was first approached about this, I was not excited at all about this. I thought it was another gimmick. And I was really reluctant. And then they came out and kind of showed me all of it. And I still really wasn't sold on it because I had not really played with it a lot. And man, I am sold. How do you say that? Hook, line, and sinker? No, yeah. is that right? I'm sold on this stuff. This is, I love it. So, so you're hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Hooked All on right. fusion spray. Yes, hooked on fusion spray. What? Oh, I'm hooked on fusion spray. <laughs> that could be kind of sad, kind of scary. All right, so let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe what would be your favorite color. And let's see. Let's do a giveaway. Uh oh. Let's do a giveaway. Let's see. You're so excited you want to get some. Yeah. All right. So, moderators, y'all be ready so y'all can see who well, answers it's be this me. first. The first one I see, then that's going to be it. Is that why? Is that why? Well, first one that you see? Okay. So, the first person, the first person that Kenny sees that can answer. Let's see. What's a good one? Um. Okay, here's what is our coupon code that we used for the 20% off classes? What is the coupon code that you need to use to get the 20% uh, discount on our classes? I talked about it at the first of the uh, live. I don't even know what that is. Well, I can't tell you. Well, come it here. It is... It's 
All right, so I told him. <laughs> so the first person that knows that coupon code, and remember, we've extended our 20% off all the way to Friday for our classes. So what was the coupon code that we, that we, that I told you guys about? There that, it is. Who got it? I don't know who that is. Let's see. All right, here, I'll see. Who? Okay, well, Stone Coat Countertop. No, it's not that no. one. It's oh, okay, so we have the, um, the GS G -S -P -T -W -O -S -E -E. I'm not really sure who that is. Uh, could you type your name in there? Uh, G-S-P-T-W-O-S-E-E. -E. If you will type your name in there. Um, we'll just send you an email. Yeah, and then I want you to send me an email, Rhonda at RK3Designs dot com and you are going to get one of these mica spray cans and what of color? your and whatever color that you want so you need to email me email chris. Me, chris okay chris you need to email me with your address and what color spray that you want and we will get that out to you in the morning all right Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Job, I really Chris. appreciate it. This piece turned out so good, and then we made it even better by playing with it. So yeah, um, that's pretty, yeah. pretty cool stuff. Again, I hope you guys had a the fantastic that you can do. the fantastic Thanksgiving. Uh, and if all of you would do a little prayer, say a little prayer for Leslie. She kind of had a tough weekend, and. Um, she just had a hard time over the holidays. So if y'all just kind of would maybe just say a quick, quick little prayer for her, uh, we would appreciate it. All right, guys. So we will see you next week. And Mitch is going to be here. Uh, him and uh, his beautiful bride are flying in on Sunday. They're going to be doing a floor. So we may have him at our next live next week. Um, maybe it'll be you and Angie. Yeah, maybe me and Angie. Who knows? So, all right, guys. Until next week, I love you. Thank you. I appreciate all your support, and I will see you next week. Bye. You're not going to even say it? Oh, gosh, yes. Don't be scared. Move forward and be creative. <laughs> Adios.